In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix GTA 5 online services unavailable error. So if you're getting an error that looks like this, which says alert, and then Rockstar Games online services are unavailable right now, please return to Grand Theft Auto 5 and try again later. If you get this error, I'll show you how to fix it. Now, the first thing you can do before trying to fix anything is to see if it's even your fault. Now, we're gonna go to Google and type in Rockstar Service Status, okay? And then you wanna go to their first website over here, which is support.rockstargames.com and says Rockstar Games Customer Support. You wanna click this and over here, once this loads up, at the top of the page in the middle, as you can see, it says Rockstar Games Online Services. You want to click this and look for uh, Rockstar Grand Theft Auto Online and other online services. Now, if all of this over here, all of this you can see is green and it says all features are green, that means it's up, as you can see over here. However, if anything is yellow or red, it means it may not be uh, a problem on your end, but on their end, okay? So, if that's the case, all we have to do is wait for them to fix the things and that's it. So you can also check on down detector if it's not if it's only you that's experiencing this or not. So as you can see, if I type Rockstar Service Status, it says downdetector.com, GTA 5 Online Down. You can check over here if any people are reporting it. So as you can see, there's different outages in the past 24 hours. As you can see, there's not really much happening right now. There's only seven reports, so nothing critical. If there's something critical, there will be a huge spike. So there will be kind of a linear graph, and then you'll see a huge spike with a lot of reports per minute, okay? Now, that's the first thing you can do. Basically look up if it's even your fault. Now, if you manage to find out that it is not your fault, uh, I mean, it is your fault, so the services are working, what you can do is try resetting your uh, router and resetting your internet and everything else, okay? So the way you do this is very simple. You can Google it for your router and you'll see it's very easy. Now, if that didn't fix your issue, what you can try is go down here to your computer, search, and type in CMD. Now open up the command prompt as an admin by right-clicking and running as admin. And then in here, what you want to do is type in as follows. You want to type in IP config and then spacebar slash flush DNS. Okay, so IP config spacebar slash flush DNS. And you want to press enter and then your, you will successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Okay, and what that will do is basically kind of reset your connections and this could so save the, solve the issue. If that didn't work, there's one more thing you can do. In case you're playing GTA 5 on Steam, what you can do is go to Library on Steam, right-click on GTA 5 and click Properties, and then go to Installed Files and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Now, what this will do, it will scan through all your GTA 5 files, see if there's any errors and any corrupted files, and it will download those and replace them with good files, and then your game will be able to run smoothly, and it may allow you to basically play it normally, okay? Now, one last thing you can do is try disconnecting from your Wi-Fi and connecting to your uh, um, kind of network, to your internet by a LAN cable and vice versa. So if you're currently connected to Wi-Fi, connect to, you, to your internet via cable. And if you're currently using cable, connect via Wi-Fi and see if that fixes the issue. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.